Today the Make It team is here in Liverpool and we've been joined by our friends from the Survitech group, including people from their Birkenhead site, um, which goes under the name RFD Beaufort. Um, our friends include Bob here, who is modelling some pilot flight equipment, which is just one of the many products that Survitech make. We've got teams of pupils from schools across Merseyside competing today to create their own new survival equipment products. And uh, the day's going very well so far. The Dragons have uh, been very impressed with the enthusiasm of the young people and we're all really looking forward to hearing their ideas this afternoon in the Dragons Den pitches. Um, our group is called Urban Survivors and um, it's pretty good because we've designed the pod that can be used in floods and all sorts of natural disasters. Um, it's got a lot of survival techniques on it which uh, can be used for safety and um, it's going to cost around £16,000 but some of the good things are really helpful. Um, it's got like a satellite navigation what can be used for SOS calls, say if like um, you're lost at sea for example and you can use communication equipment that will get you back to an SOS place and they can actually come and rescue you that eat quite easily. Um, it's going to be an inflatable raft and it can um, be inflated in about 30 seconds roughly. Um, it's got things like food and water which can last up to 20 days. This is uh, really great. The, uh, the, the thing that's amazing us is the kids are absolutely enthusiastic. Some real talent coming out, some great ideas. The, uh, the enthusiasm in terms of uh, getting the stuff done and working to schedules, just fantastic. Some great uh, things from our perspective, the team working, the uh, individuals coming up with designs and webs and, and uh, marketing stuff is, uh, is just really quite remarkable. E equally, inputting uh, from our guys in terms of the manufacturing uh, uh, emphasis, seeing some of these guys do this and, and actually feeling and touching stuff, I think there's going to be some great stuff coming uh, out of here that really does encapsulate uh, the, the, the stuff that we're trying to put across in terms of manufacturing careers. The, uh, and some of the guys, I think, will really uh, think about the future of manufacturing as a, as a career alternative and hopefully, having enjoyed this experience, we'll, uh, we'll step forward and, and come into the environmental uh, or into the uh, manufacturing environment. Um, I didn't really know much about manufacturing, but today I've actually learned a lot about fighter jets and um, how people in the Royal Navy and submarines they can like have inflatable suits. And I never knew any of this until today. Um, there's also I've seen things that can help me in life, like what I can do, where I can like work at with Survivor Tech. Um, like there's lots of different places in the world all over. Um, there's the pods that they make, are, I think they're extremely good, and the rafts, I've seen the inflated the rafts today, and I never in, in the world thought it'd inflate so quick. 